Meritorious brothers and sisters, you are about to listen to a very beautiful and a special story. When you listen to this, you will realize the importance of the triple gem and the precepts and how to be virtuous. If you go to the refuge of the triple gem and follow the five precepts, the benefits you gain is incomparable. During Gautama Supreme Buddha's time period, there was a child named Chattamanavaka. This child was very clever and learnt all of his subjects in school very fast. During those days, they had a custom of paying fees to the teacher after completing the studies. One day, this child was carrying gold and silver coins and was walking in a path which led to the teacher's house. This road was surrounded by a thick jungle and was very lonely. There were not too many people there. Supreme Buddha, with his divine eye, saw Chattamadavaka, who was walking in a lonely road with a lot of money. Supreme Buddha knew he was going to face a sad situation very soon. Our great teacher had so much compassion about this son and wanted to help him. So Supreme Buddha started to walk in that lonely road and sat under a tree. Chattamanavaka saw the Supreme Buddha and recognized him. He was very happy to see the Buddha. Our great compassionate teacher talked to this son, but he was not a noble disciple of the Buddha. He did not know about the triple gem and the precepts. Then our teacher explained the value of the triple gem and the importance of going for the refuge to the triple gem. The son was very wise. He understood the importance of going to the refuge of the triple gem and he took refuge in the Triple Gem, the Supreme Buddha, the Supreme Dhamma, and the Supreme Sangha. Then our great teacher, Supreme Buddha, explained about the five precepts. The five precepts are Panatipata Virmani Sikhapadam Samadhyami I observe the precept of abstaining from killing beings. That means, I do not kill living beings. I observe the precept of abstaining from killing living beings. Adinadana viramani sikhapadan samadhyami I observe the precept of abstaining from stealing. That means, I do not take what is not given. I observe the precept of abstaining from taking what is not given. Kame su viramani I observe the precept of abstaining from sexual misconduct. That means, I do not engage in sexual misconduct. I observe the precept of abstaining from sexual misconduct. Musavada Viramani Sikhapadan Samadhyami I observe the precept of abstaining from telling lies. That means, I do not tell lies. I observe the precept of abstaining from false speech. Suramiraya Majja Pamadathana Viramani Sikhapadan Samadhyami 
I observe the precept of abstaining from taking intoxicating drinks and drugs. That means I do not use drugs and bad drinks. I observe the precept of abstaining from drinking alcohol and using drugs. Our great teacher, Supreme Buddha, explained the benefits of the Triple Gem and the precepts and asked him to follow the precepts. This son was very happy. He paid respects to the Supreme Buddha and went for refuge to the Triple Gem and observed the five precepts and promised to follow them. Afterwards, our great teacher, Supreme Buddha, taught him these beautiful stanzas. Yo adetang pavaro manu jesu sakke muni bhagwa katkicho Par gato balaviriya samangi Tang sugatam saranathamupemi The great teacher who is supreme among humans the Holy One who has done what should have been done by ending the round of rebirths possessed of power and energy I go for refuge to the Supreme Buddha. Raga viraga maneja masukam Dhamma masankhata mappati kulam Madhura mimam pagunam suvibhattam Free from lust, craving and sorrow, the Dhamma is unconditioned and is not changeable. Like sweet music to the ear of the listener, this Dhamma is full of depth and meaning, leading to investigation. I go for refuge to the Supreme Dhamma. Yatha cha dinna maha mahu Chatusu suchisu purisayugesu Atha cha pukkala dhamma dasate Sangha mimam saranatha mupemi Whatever gives that are offered to the Sangha. The giver receives incalculable merits. Those four pairs of persons, the eight types of persons who have seen and realized the Dhamma. I go for refuge to the Supreme Sangha. So dear brothers and sisters, 
In this Chatta Malvaka, learn these three stanzas and memorize them well. Afterwards, he started his journey through the jungle. He continued for a very short time and he got caught to a gang of thieves. They wanted to steal Chattamanavaka's money, so they started to beat him with sticks. Due to the physical injuries, Chattamanavaka passed away. Meritorious brothers and sisters, even though he was getting beaten, he was thinking only about the Supreme Buddha, and the Supreme Dhamma, and the Supreme Sangha, and the precepts that he had just observed. He did not have an angry mind at those robbers. Even though he had to die in an unfortunate way, he was reborn in the Tavatimsa heaven as a Deva. This fortunate Deva had a beautiful divine palace and divine princes and princesses to serve him. He obtained all of these happy things because of his pleasant mind about the Supreme Buddha, the Supreme Dhamma, and the Supreme Sangha, and the precepts that he observed for a very short time. One day, this Chattamanavaka Deva came to visit the Supreme Buddha. He paid homage and said, Bhante, I got the opportunity to go for refuge to the Triple Gem and observe the precepts for a very short time. I obtained all these divine pleasures because of following the Dhamma for a short time. What should be said about the people who follow the Dhamma for their whole lifetime? It must be a real gain for them. Dear brothers and sisters, it is so beneficial to have a pleasant mind about the Triple Gem and to follow the precepts. So, all of you can memorize these beautiful stanzas. It is going to be a great gain and will certainly benefit you. And if you can follow the five precepts and be virtuous at your little age, you will never have to regret later in your life. Your life will be valuable and meritorious and will be filled with happiness. May the Triple Gem bless you all. Thirty one Sardanai Good job.